Good morning, beautiful people. How are you guys going today? It's another beautiful day, and we are here at a beautiful place in Australia. We're gonna have breakfast over here, the most, the best breakfast. Very quiet place. This is like a five star hotel system where you travel by everything for yourself. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. The weather is perfect. It's been raining a lot the past few days. Oh, I kid you not. If I show you behind this, where I'm sitting now. Oh my God, let me have a, let me just, let me show you where I'm sitting. See over there? See over there? It's been raining so much in Australia the past few days. Christmas, Christmas was not, has not been the same. I don't think I've ever seen a Christmas that has, I don't think I've seen a Christmas that has rained this much, man. It's just, it's just been, it's just been crazy, man. It's been very crazy. But um, yeah, so we're here today. We're gonna be having some breakfast. You know, listening to the birds, the fresh air. It's just amazing, man. This is peaceful, man. Nature is just amazing. You can't go wrong with nature. All right. Um, yeah. But um, the reason why I'm here also is just to say thank you so much, guys, for 1,000 subscribers plus, man. I really appreciate it. I didn't even expect to get 1,000 subscribers. Basically, I do YouTube for fun, man. This, I, just, I just love cameras and, you know, I never used to... I'm actually really bad at editing and terrible. And I'm still, I'm still learning a bit by bit. And um, I just started, sort of decided to share my stories, you know, like just my random stories and, you know, something like this, which you can do by yourself. Yeah, but yesterday I woke up and I was like, oh, 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much, guys, wherever you're watching from. I know most of my supporters are from Kenya. Asante ni sana. Brother zangu na kaka zangu. Asante ni sana. So we're going to be... <clears throat> making some breakfast over here and um yeah and then just chill relax and uh, have a chat maybe i'm gonna have a story i don't know but um yeah i decided maybe man this year we're gonna make it different you know this year we're gonna make it a little bit different and uh, just go out more um i know because when australia winter starts hitting ah man you don't want to go out but this is the best time right now the temperature is perfect amazing man amazing so we'll get into it i'll uh i'll start making some breakfast So we're gonna be making some. Uh, we're gonna be making some uh, <coughs> eggs and uh, some uh, <laughs> some uh, Hanes, Hanes beans. Um, these Hanes beans, man, they, they are really amazing. Um, they are canned beans, of course. Uh, just naturally high in fiber and low in fat, apparently. And um, I actually love this because um, that's what I usually have. And you might be wondering, what are you using, Julian? What are you making? What are you? But, um, I've got a, sorry man, I've got a Spinifex cooking with gas over here. I remember when I was in Israel, when I used to go camping, we'll buy this and uh, it's actually very easy to use. And uh, well, it's just gas and it protects the environment and it's very friendly for the environment. So, and it does a very good job, like, just like a home, like you know, you're gonna be in your house. So we're gonna be making some eggs over here. Hopefully that wind doesn't stop me from making my favorite protein eggs yeah so it's uh actually this is the first time i'm actually coming out this year to um make myself some breakfast i remember one once i came to hang around around this area camping it's a very nice place even here i think some people used to camp here there's some fire behind some firewood behind me i think someone was having some camping over here which is actually really nice and uh, very peaceful that night i came to camp here it was um the weather wasn't the best there was a lot of rain that night but the good thing i've got this thing is called a swag um and uh, it's like waterproof thing uh there was no rain coming in but just the fact that it was raining and windy that night it uh it made me not enjoy that uh, camping, but um, I'm hoping one day I'll come and do camping over here or around this area. Yeah, and uh, maybe have some nice stories to tell you guys. And uh, amazing, this thing is actually like just coming over, just taking yourself out sometimes in the nature and you know just chill and relax, listen to the birds. It's actually really like <clears throat> for your mental wellness. It's actually like I I I've been I've been enjoying it honestly. Like yeah, I. Sh I should do this more often. It's just 
different, you know, like, especially when you're in a, in a place where you're far away from your family and stuff. Sometimes you just need that time. Oh, I forgot my spatula. I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna turn these lights around, but I'll see. Time to be creative, Julian. Um, I think I use this fork, it's not very level up here. I'll put it down here. Me, 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 bachelor boy. Uto Nairobi. Yeah, some protein. <coughs> Know, somebody will come here and he's like, man, what is that guy doing there with the camera speaking, talking to himself? <laughs> what is that black guy doing up there? Talking to himself, making some breakfast. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, mate. Sorry, mate. I'm just a backpacker. <laughs> Actually, you know, a lot of people from Europe, Europe countries, they come in Australia. They come here as backpackers and um, they sort of like get a car, an old car like mine, and um, they just drive around. And most of them, they, they work with farmers. And uh, yeah, that's something that we, people like us, coming from down there, we, she just not gonna go somewhere where you don't know where you're going, sleep in the bush. You know, it's... <laughs> oh man, if my ancestors come right now, man, I'll be slapped. <laughs> Julian, what are you doing in the bush? For yourself, talking to a camera. <laughs> oh, that looks good, man. That looks really good. That looks really good. Oh, okay. What I'll do, I'll take this off and give this plate a rinse. You see, I didn't even need a spatula to to use it for um, my eggs. And that's the bush life, man. That's the bush life. This is supposed to be fun. I don't even know why I have plates. I should be actually be eating on this. You know? Yeah. I don't need I don't need a plate. Sorry man. I don't need so this goes well with Haynes beans. I don't know where that name is from. Germany? Let me know in the comments below if you know where this is from. Because I have no idea. All I know it's delicious. amazing and uh, after that because now because the pan is the pan is warm it actually warms up um the hens beans and uh yeah a little bit of pepper oh yes i need to make some coffee you know coffee let me tell you one thing coffee coffee is very important coffee does a very good job so i'm gonna eat this and then just keep my coffee ready you see i didn't even have to buy water And I'll tell you the best coffee. If you're watching this and you're in Australia, okay, go and get this Moroccan Baristas Reserve Quima advertising for free. Okay, this coffee is really smooth, very smooth, and you don't need you, you don't even need to stay. Very good coffee, very good coffee. Yeah. So I'm just encouraging anyone if you want good coffee, that's really good coffee. But for now. Let's dig into this. Oh, let me let me let me bring it closer to you guys so that you can see what we're having here. You see what we're having here? That's what we're having, guys. Over there. Closer. That's it. Make first first, man. Best, best, best. I'm Did you hear that? That's the kukubara. Did you hear that? Fantastic. Let me tell you one thing. If there's no way you're gonna go and uh, and hear this kind of uh, beautiful, beautiful noises, you know. No way. No way you're gonna go. Very hard. Very hard. Ah, oh, one of one of my friends asked me where this bag is from. <laughs> this is this is my lucky bag. I love it. That's a good job, man. That's a good job. Okay, 
Time for us to enjoy a breakfast. Let me move this one back a little. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this is this is <laughs> this is this is amazing. I'm not, I'm not kidding. This this is amazing. Mm. 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 While my coffee is cooking, I'll uh, tell you the story of my special cup. My cup comes from my old grandfather. His name is Ombukulu Olekoko Otweke Zigambaka. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> There's no one in my family by that name, man. This is just a, a special cup. You know, growing up, those days we used to um, have metal cups, metal plates. You know, amazing days. That cup would fall down. 10 times, up and down 10 times, 3, 4, 10 times, that thing is staying forever. <laughs> Life was cheap. If you were born in a place called Kibira or Kibra at this time of the day, uh, in a place called Kangemi where I lived most of my life, I was born in, in the slums, in one of the biggest slums in Africa. And um, life was very, very interesting. Now that I'm in a first world country, come to think about it, it's just it's mind blowing, you know. Like, if you grow up in these places or if you've been to these kind of places, I think you'll totally understand what I mean, you know. Like, we used to have those simple life. I remember having something like this those days was a luxury. We used to have a stove, and this stove we use kerosene. I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen kerosene in Australia, but kerosene is like a sort of petrol, or you know, it's, it's kerosene. I can't explain more than that. Kerosene. You put it in a in a in a stove. It's, this thing used to call a stove, and it used to have like uh, six or eight um, roche, roche, uh, clothes. All you know, like I don't know what the best word to use. We, we call it or uh, tambi. We used to call it tambi. That's the right word in Swahili. Um, if I have a photo, maybe I'll put it there. We used to call it tambi, and that thing will cook. And after that thing cooks, <laughs> the smoke that comes from that thing, my brother and my sister, oh, that was killer and i think that's where i had my chest problems when i was growing up because we used the stove for years and i'm not kidding you used it for years and because it was the only way the best way to use to cook those days life was fantastic but <laughs> um coming to this to this date after i moved from my dad's house and went and i bought a gas and then this gas stuff started coming out life was better i remember after you cook your food if everyone comes in your house in the next maybe an hour they will definitely know that you've been cooking or your clothes will smell the kerosene because uh, again if you didn't change those tambies the the smoke will be even more be even more worse and especially having something that if you cook with it for more for years um sometimes the the the, the, the changing mechanism of taking it down to close if it doesn't work you have to take water and pour it on the oh my god if you know what i'm saying what i'm talking about you understand exactly where i'm going where i'm talking about this was this was life and um, that's what all we knew if i had something like this those days growing up maybe i'll not have those chest issues because one day i remember i went to hospital because of inhaling that thing and uh, because we don't know and also because at night we didn't have electricity we used to use same kerosene to um <laughs> to, to as light in the house you know and we'll have this sort of uh, alarm i'll put a port there for you to understand what i'm talking about and um <laughs> oh my coffee is ready the stories are becoming so beautiful man i should stop talking julian can you just make your coffee this thing does a really good job really good job and um it's actually not very expensive my coffee smells nice you know the smell of coffee it's just oh whoever came up with coffee man ethiopians man thank you i'm a no if you're watching this from Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, the biggest exporters of coffee in the world, I think. I could be wrong, but I think they are. Um, oh, one, one more thing, guys. I'm a weirdo. I'm a very weird guy because I put honey in my coffee. Um, I don't know why. Um, but uh, personally, I prefer not having sugar. I know, yeah, some will say, oh, but honey is still sugar anyway. Yeah, I know, yeah, 
but I personally prefer honey. You know? Yes. That's a kukubara. That's a kukubara. Over there. If I can't can zoom. Over there. Let's go close. Well, it's beautiful nature. This is Kubara. Oh, it's flown away. Goodbye, man. Yes, my coffee is. Uh, it's going pretty well, man. That's the best coffee, man. The best. The best coffee. What was I talking about? Um, yes, I was talking about life, those days, you know? And, um, you know, like sometimes it's good to have these sort of stories. They, they make you appreciate life more, you know? Like, right now I appreciate life more. Um, because actually another thing is you don't know how hard how tough things are when you're down there until you test something different you know like after staying outside Kenya for maybe seven years eight years now um, actually ten years you come to appreciate life more because yeah and I used to appreciate life then but at the same time I'm like oh man I think I used to Live a very interesting life. Maisha ya maisha ya stove. Maisha ya stove ilikuwa maisha ngumu. Ah, Paul. But that's the life. E, this coffee is very tam tamu, very tamu, tamu, tamu sana. Thank you very much. This coffee is amazing. Yeah. Once again, I don't know. I think Mokona is everywhere. It's an international brand. But try this coffee. My own recommendation. It's uh, very nice. If you wanna pause the video and have a look, it's very nice coffee. Very nice coffee. Especially after having that uh, healthy breakfast. Siku moja nataka ni kujia hapa ni wapiki ugali. I one day I wanna come here and make you an African, a Kenyan dish. It's called ugali. Uh, ugali is what we used to eat Monday to Sunday, and uh, I was really, really tired of it. And um, and the reason why I'm saying I I come to appreciate that life more is because those days, Maccas KFC was not something we grew up knowing. The food was really healthy you know there was no there was no one obese in my community i can remember that for sure unless they become old and they just you know yeah but that's that was something of the past man high blood pressure whatever that was yeah we used to have greens greens was the way yeah and um yeah one day i'll come and make some ugali over here with some skooma and um give you some nice stories about the beautiful days of kuka growing up in the village in the biggest slums in africa but this coffee again is really 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 nice well i'll keep enjoying my coffee as i look at the um let's let's look at the stats you know like um i came to notice like actually this thing i'm still learning more about this youtube stuff and um i was looking at the stats the other day it says a lot of people that are watching my videos they're from nairobi kenya 40 something percent and some are from australia and some are from the united states of america thank you guys Thank you guys 1000 subscribers i really appreciate it it's not it's been a it's been a journey it's been an interesting journey and um uh we thank god we appreciate it you know like it's just i do this for fun i do this for to give someone hope up there i do this just to uh, to enjoy myself you know like it's something that i love talking to a camera like a madman in the middle of nowhere if someone is from a distance and they don't see the camera they'll be like man that guy what does he what is happening with that guy that guy has lost his mind. Man, let Jama make cheesy man. Jama now get to be here comes soon. Oh Lord, help us! But this is really nice. You know, when I was in back home, I used to think, why are people like you know why Western people walking up with dogs and cats? And, until I came here to and then realized, man, actually these animals they actually help people. They make people like feel at home. They make people less lonely. They make people less mental have men. You know, but because back home dogs sleep outside here, people sleep with dogs in their beds, in the houses, they walk. 
everywhere. So when I when I when I went to Israel, I remember I found it very strange to see an old lady or even a young woman or a young man walking with a dog, cuddling the dog, sitting beside their car. I was like, ah, this is crazy. It was just you know that culture shock, you know, like when you go to a first world country and you see these things and you're coming from a slum where you know dogs they you know they just live on the streets. I'm not saying that's how they're supposed to be. But I remember those were just you know, when I came to Australia, I found that very interesting to see people living with dogs in the houses. They're sitting at the car at the back, at the front, putting their heads out, you know, having that breeze, and I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. And then after years of sitting, staying here, now that I'm by myself, I found out, ah, oh, now it rings a bell. It brings, it brings actually, it brings sense. It makes sense. Actually, it's good to have these things in your house. I remember I had in my house, I come home, I look at them, I'm like, ah, they'll make me happy. And then you forget about, you know, because there's no one here, you're just here by yourself. You're going to get crazy. So sometimes it's just good to do these kind of things to make you happy. So for me, what I do, I go to the gym. You know, I go to the gym, I pump up, work out. And um, when I come home, I grab my guitar, you know, grab my guitar and I'm like, I just, I just play my guitar and, you know, it just, yeah. It's just amazing, it keeps you going, it's just, ah, oh, fantastic, man. Yeah, but for us, we are used to these kind of things, you know, like, but people here, they're not used to this kind of stuff, so they have to have something to keep them going, you know? I'm not saying everywhere, but even back home nowadays, people have dogs in their houses and stuff. But I came to realize, actually, these dogs, the best man's friend, they make you, they make us happy, yeah. Amazing. Beautiful view, man. Beautiful view. You can imagine this. How many years has this been built, you know, like with this old lake a million years ago before you and I were born? I don't know. I don't know. I need to tune my guitar. I think it's time for me to pack up and leave and um, leave this beautiful place I've actually enjoyed this morning it's been a really really fantastic morning amazing very calm the Sun is really beautiful I tell you oh, and the environment is just spectacular yeah time for me to pack up and head home see if I can go do some editing learn some new skills every day Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> so thank you so much guys for having breakfast with Julian today. It's been amazing, good time this morning. I urge you anyone out there, if you are closer to nature once in a while, go outside, grab your car, or grab a taxi, grab a matatu, go somewhere with a bag, make yourself some breakfast in the middle of nowhere and enjoy your, your breakfast. It's really, really amazing. Man. Sometimes you just, these little, little things, they make you happy and they make you, I, I don't even have the words for it, you just, you just feel like it's just like a special treat, you know, you don't need to go all the time in a pub for like all night long these little things man they keep you going man thank you so much and um welcome to the family if you're new here um i really appreciate uh, your support guys and uh i hope you learn something one or two and uh it's gonna be amazing here this year is gonna be really amazing and uh we're gonna be pushing it we're gonna be pushing it man um fantastic man time is really going really fast uh i can't say much what I can say is, be blessed, man. Stay safe. 
keep smiling whenever you are. Keep smiling. That's the most important thing you can do to yourself. Take care. Ciao.